Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am the Inconsequential Runner and Park Run last weekend and I ran in two things. The Essex S4, I need to talk about the shoe again. It's going to be probably my last update on it and I'll tell you why, but I'll tell you why I need to talk about this again. And a running top handmade here in New Zealand in Wellington by Early. So I'm gonna quickly, actually I'll start with this. I'm gonna do a full review on these running tops um, later on, but the S4 and this top I wore in Park Run in the weekend, and they both worked a peach. Now, the reason why I really like the early tops is, well, oh, I haven't got my normal running top around. I weighed it, and it's 120 grams. And this early running top in the same size is 82 grams. So a big saving, I know. 40 grams, you're gonna say whatever, but when we talk about our shoes and the 40 gram difference between a, you know, a 190 and a 230 gram pair of shoes or 280 and 320 makes quite a difference. Less material to get wet too, but that's not the big benefits of these early tops. These early tops, there are no hems inside, no hems, no stitching, so there is no rubbing. There's no ribbing, as you can see, that's been sewn through the neck. It's that interlocking material. I'm sure there's a good name for it, but it means they can just trim the material and it doesn't fray. Kind of like those, those buff headwear um, that you've got. So on the back, and you're going to see on the back here, and I'll show you some other colors in just a moment. Um, oh look, you've got this little tag here that talks about the washing instructions and also the size. Why is the tag um, there? It's not on the inside. There are no sewn in tags on the inside. There's nothing, um, which is just perfect. It feels silky on your body. The back of the early running top is just pinned down the side there. When I say pinned, I mean, it's stitched, but it's not stitched all the way down. It's just stitched in a couple of areas, which I think helps with breathability. So, gosh, the thing is just so light. It just folds in my hands. I, I don't know if I can hold it in a position where you can see it properly, but there's the back and, oh, goodness, I'm trying to... And there's the... where it's, <laughs> where it's stitched together. And it's just, yeah, it's just a couple of areas where it's just overlocked, is that the word for it? And you can just breathe through there. There we go, there's the back, and you can almost breathe down through the sides. That's it, super light, really well designed, um, made in New Zealand, handmade in New Zealand. Great top, great top. If you're into the colors, I love this. This is my favorite. This is the orange with the um, red checker. Um, you've got, in the same design, You've got the white, and this gives you an idea on sizing. So here's a woman's extra small, really small, um, really small. So you've got a huge range of sizes. Great color, that one. The pink stands out really well on that. And then you've got, this is like a yellowy green with a dark green checker on it. Buy early, check them out. What I'll do is I'll do a full review um, later with their shirts. But um, great quality, great quality shirts at a great price. I will put their link, uh, they're on Instagram, um, so I'll put their link in the comments. So just go down to the comments and you'll see them there. So that's early running tops. These are the S4s. So the S4s, the big question I had in some of the previous videos were, will, <laughs> will the Essex please um, release the S4s to, to those outside of Japan because it was a Japan only shoe and I was lucky enough to be through Japan and I picked up a pair. I love them. I was on the treadmill in this shop in, in Tokyo at one of the shops in central Tokyo by Tokyo Station. Boring details there. Um, on the treadmill and within, within a minute I just knew that I needed to pick these up. Now if you want to know the weight, I'm not going to give you all the specs. Um, you can look it up, but yeah, weight's always important. So this is a US size 10 and it's 248 grams. And I weighed that just before, barely anywhere on the shoe. So yeah, 248 grams new. But, 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 
The reason why it won't come out now worldwide, surely, at least not in this form, is it is Flight Foam Turbo. And you know now um, ASICs have um, released the Flight Foam Turbo Plus, which has come out in the new Paris, the Meta Speed Paris, and the Sky and the Edge. So this, this 4, who knows what the future is for the S4. Um, if it comes out, then it will be, it'll have to be in the Turbo Plus. I'm sure they'll look at specking it up. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But the final words I want to say on this for is it is a great shoe. Now, because the Flight Foam Turbo Plus has come out, I think that's going to be your more long run shoe. Whether you're racing or training, I'd go towards that. What I've been using this for is short, sharp sessions. So mainly on the track. So I'm talking about six kilometers on the track, broken up into intervals. So it might be two, two by threes, four by 1500s, six by 1000s, um, or the 5K in park run. Now, the re reason why I stuttered there for a second is I've remembered the key thing I wanted to share with you about this shoe. This shoe is super responsive, it rockets. Now. I hear people use the word responsive in very different ways. So let me be really clear um, and prescriptive about what responsive means for me. It means this, if I'm traveling at one speed, say it's four minute Ks, and I want to shoot up to something like, you know, 240s, 245s, 250s, so getting close for me <laughs> to 100%, um, this thing gets me there super fast, super responsive. So I have no qualms about using it for short distance stuff. In fact, when I was down in the, um, the Nationals for Masters um, recently in Ototahi uh, in Christchurch, I used them for the 800 meter race. Great decision, great decision. When I kicked with about 200 to go, these things responded straight away. So I love them for short speed stuff. So what I'm recommending is if ASICs release this shoe, either in this form or by changing the Flight Foam um, Turbo to the Plus, pick them up. If it becomes, if the Plus comes out, then consider it for then your longer runs. But if it just stays with your Flight Foam Turbo, then yeah, if you want to do more short distance stuff in it, do it. Now, what could I compare it to? I have got the Nike Streak Fly. I prefer this over the Streak Fly. I love the Streak Fly, but I prefer this. This is a much more comfortable and I think a much faster shoe for me and gives me a lot more snap. The Streak Fly has a shank in it, so the plate goes from about here to here. This is a full length plate and it's stiff as, but it feels good on the foot. Um, I haven't tried the Adidas. Takumi Sen, so I can't compare it to that. But I think it's a super fast sh shoe, and I think it's underrated at shorter distances. 200 meters, wouldn't use it for that. Um, 400 meters, yeah, yeah, I would. 800 meters, 1500 meters, 3000, not steeplechase, but 3000, 5K, absolutely. 800 meters, it was beautiful. That's it, that's it. So look, I think in a way I'm saying, Goodbye in terms of the reviews for the S4. I don't, unless you've got any other questions um, for me, ask them in the comments. And um, if the question is something I can answer, fantastic. If it's something that's a challenge, you want me to do something in the shoe and I need to do another video on it to answer your question, I'll consider it. But I think my mind is made up about the shoe. It's clear to me about how it helps me with my training. So. The only reason why I'm saying goodbye to this shoe is I don't think I need to do any more videos on this shoe. The Essex S4, great shoe for me for track training, for the 5K and, and park run. If it's on concrete, if it's flat, even better, um, which my park run is, or one of them are. And yeah, track sessions. Did I say that already? Can't remember. Doesn't matter. So check out early running tops. The S4, keep an eye on that. Let's see what um, what Essex do with it. It's a great shoe. It's a great shoe. So hopefully they do something with this. All right, that's it. You know what to do. 
If you have been able to tolerate this video, give it a like. Go on, you deserve it. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. They'll be better than this. And um, But I just, I really wanted to talk about these two products. They just really served me well in the weekend. The early running top, such a great design, so clever. Um, and the Essex S4 shoe. And uh, it's a real pity, I, I, I'll try and do this for the review, but I'm not, I might need an assistant to help me, out, um, help me out with this. But yeah, that's the seam there, where it gets, so it's pointing on the outside. So where the shirt comes together, it's not folded over and sewn that way, it points on the outside and it's sewn on the outside. So yeah, there's, uh, you feel nothing but fabric, no threads against you, no tags, such a clever, such a clever design. So breathable, so breathable. Okay, that's it. Any questions you've got on the Essex S4 or the early um, running tops, throw them in the comments. You know I'll answer them. And the comment up the top uh, will be the link through to the Instagram page for early. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching to the end. Catch you in the next one.